Hi, I'm Maham Tariq from Skill Curve and in this demo we'll learn about Azure Virtual Networks. Virtual Networks is one of the many networking resources offered by Azure and Azure Virtual Network is a representation of your own network in the cloud. It is a logical isolation of Azure Cloud dedicated to your subscription. So first things first, you can search for Virtual Networks from the search bar above or you can just click on the quick links available on the front page. Click on create so the virtual network creation wizard pops up. First you need to choose your subscription and your resource group. Then you need to choose a unique name for your virtual network. I'll just choose skill curve virtual network. Then select a region for my virtual network. Make sure that you select the region that you normally use. Then let's go to the next tab that is IP addresses. I'll just edit the address space here. I'll add 10.0.0.0 slash 24. And then I'm going to add a new subnet here. The new subnet will have the IP range of 10.0.0.0 slash 25. You can also choose to associate a NAT gateway here with the subnet. A NAT gateway is a network address translation service. It is basically used so that the instances in a private subnet can connect to services outside your VPC but external services cannot initiate a connection with those instances. I'll just leave it empty for now because I don't already have a NAT gateway enabled. Add. And the next section we have is security. Let's just go through all these options quickly but we're not going to use them for now. Azure DDoS protection enables you to protect your Azure resources from distributed denial of service attacks with always on monitoring and automatic network attack mitigation. Azure Firewall is a managed cloud-based network security service that protects your Azure virtual network resources. But I'll just leave it like this and click on next. The next tab is tag. I'll just add a dummy tag here and click on next. Here we can review all the information we just put in and then click on create. Once the validation is completed, the deployment will start. I'll just pause the video until the deployment is finished because it can take a minute or so. Now let's go to our deployed resource. Here we can see the various properties of skill curve VN. We can see all the capabilities that this virtual network can do. But now, I'll just go into the subnets portion and add a new one here. I'll name it subnet1. I'll choose the IP range of 10.0.0.128 slash 25. Here again, I can add a NAT gateway and a network security group if we already have it, but I don't have one, so I'll just click on save. Now, my virtual network contains two different subnets. I can choose to associate these subnets with a network security group, virtual machine, and various other resources. I'll just quickly show you how can I associate this virtual network and its subnets to a virtual machine. So let's go back and create a new virtual machine. I will just quickly go through all the settings. I'll just fill in all the required fields. We'll not be focusing on how to create this uh, virtual machine here. So I'll just go straight to the networking section. As we can see, Azure has already added our virtual network that we just created here. I do not need to change anything here. If we don't see our virtual network here already selected, I can just select the new virtual network from the drop down. I will see it there if it is in the same region as my virtual machine. Now let's just finish creating this virtual machine. Now I'll just quickly show you how you can add a virtual network gateway to your new virtual network. I will not create a new network gateway as it is a long procedure. I'll just show you how you can do that. Just search virtual network gateways and click on create. Fill in all the information you need and select your virtual network but just make sure to use the same region as your virtual network and select your subnet from the IP range here. I'll just cancel it for now because we're not making a new virtual network gateway. I just wanted to show you how you can do that. Now before ending the lab, it's good practice to delete all the resources you made that you do no longer need. So I'll just click on the deployment and 
click on delete deployment altogether, it will delete all the new resources that were made during this deployment. You can select each resource one by one and delete it. You can also select the resource group and delete it to, to delete all the resources associated with that resource group.